today's tutorial where I will show you how to use the macros on your Periboard A35 Ergo Mechanical Keyboard using the shortcuts on the keyboard as well as in the software. Firstly, do you know what a keyboard macro is? Here's the fast explanation. Did you get it? Just kidding. Let me slow it down. Keyboard macros are a sequence of keys that are recorded and then played back by a program. If set up to suit your tasks, it can be a very useful way to increase the efficiency of your workflow. There are two ways to record the desired keys. The first one is directly onto your keyboard. The second one is by using our software. So if you press the record button and choose the profile you want to set your key sequence in, then press the keys you want to record. For example, press M1 profile button, then the record button like I'm doing here. It will start to flash. Then you can press the home key, enter the number sequence you like, such as a password, and then press the record button again, and then it's done. Do you want to create more macro profiles? Then press the record button until it flashes. Choose the profile you would like to use, select the function key, and then type in the number sequence you want to record. Do you want to return to the original key function without using the software? Simply press the record key and then the function you want to reset. Like when we pressed the home key in our earlier example, now you must press the same key again to reset it. Now let's look at setting up the macros by using the software. All right, once you have opened up your software, you will see the last icon on the left side of the software is the macro function. There are four different sections in the macro function. The left side of the keyboard image is the profile tab and the library tab. If you have recorded a macro key from the keyboard, you can find that macro profile on the profile tab. The profile tab shows the activated macro keys. Below the library section is the profile tab. Good to know is these macro keys in the library will not be deleted even if you reset the keyboard. To create a new profile, click the plus button in the library section. If you right click on the profile name, you can change the name. Then select a key on the keyboard picture. We are going to record a new macro profile now. Then go to macro editing on the right side of the software where the record button is. Click on the record button and enter the keys. When you have entered the keys that you want to record, click on the stop button. Now the profile key will appear with a red line around it. When you apply this key, you need to click with the right mouse button. Then the key will turn a solid red then you have to click apply. What is the start time and duration? I will tell you what they are. When you record the keys, the program also recognizes the time information together. So macro keys are entered at the original speed when you record them. If you type slowly, it will be recorded slowly, but you can change the speed in the software. Let's do it together. I've changed the start time to zero and the duration to 10. Then click the apply button and you'll see what happens. Your entry speed is then altered. Now that you know how to use the macros, let me show you some advanced tips for setting up the application triggers using the software. Click the F1 key plus the record button and then type a key combination set of your choice. For example, Alt and E to open Excel. You need to add the shortcut on your program as well. Please right click on the program and go to the properties. There is a shortcut key there. Here you can enter the keys you have already recorded and that's it. Now let's create a macro profile for Excel. I want to use the M2 profile mode exclusively for Excel. So on the software, I'm going to click on the M2 profile and select the plus button next to the library. Then I will press the F3 key, the record button and Alt plus H plus A plus C. 
This function is now saved and set up to center the cell contents. Just one of the many examples of how you can customize the keyboard shortcuts with the macro functions. Now that you know how to use the macro functions, think of all the potential text command configurations you could use to improve the productivity of your workflow. No more constant copy and paste time wasting. You can even set up something more fun. For example, you can set a macro to use while gaming that shouts out the name of your guild or displays an item that you are selling at the touch of a button. The possibilities are endless. You can set up each profile to suit your environment, like M1 can be set for office use, M2 for gaming shortcuts. What is your favorite game shortcuts on this keyboard? Let us know, we'd love to try them. If you have any questions about this keyboard and its macro settings, please leave them below for us to answer. Also, we look forward to your comments and suggestions on what how-to video you would like to see next. Thanks for watching.